I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned because, uh, uh, especially if the number of dredge miners increase, maybe it's okay now, but if, if it catches on and uh, we don't have any implementation of the law and uh, we don't punish the people that are doing it, I'm very concerned. With the rise in gold prices during the 1970s, there was a renewed interest in prospecting and exploration for minerals in Idaho's Clearwater Basin. Around this time, many prospectors started using small suction dredges to explore and mine in stream gravels. Since then, the popularity of this method has increased. Suction dredge mining involves the use of a motorized pump mounted on a floating platform to vacuum gold-bearing sediments from the stream bed. Materials vacuumed by the dredge go through a sluice that allows miners to sort gold and other heavy metals from gravel, sand, and silt that are discharged back into the stream. As miners work, dredge holes are excavated while tailings and fine sediment are deposited downstream. Although suction dredge mining is regulated in Idaho, it is allowed in several Clearwater River drainages, including the South Fork of the Clearwater River, Lolo Creek, a main stem Clearwater River tributary, and Moose Creek, Coral Grand Creek, and French Creek, which are North Fork Clearwater River tributaries. I live near the South Fork of the Clearwater River in North Central Idaho with my family. Over the last 15 years, I've spent time fishing, snorkeling, and exploring in the South Fork drainage. I've monitored suction dredge mining on several Idaho streams, but during the last few years, I've focused my effort on the South Fork of the Clearwater. I monitor suction dredging by patrolling the river and stopping to photograph and video record dredge activity and impacts of dredge activity wherever I find them. For the most part, miners have been civil and willing to talk about their assertion that they should not be regulated. But you're going to listen to me first. That's why you're down here, because I'm going to talk to you and let you, I'm educating you. Concerns arise because salmon, steelhead, or bull trout eggs, alevins, or fry may be harmed or killed if they are drawn through a suction dredge or smothered by sediment that is redistributed by the operation. Also, spawning reds that are established in unstable mine tailings are susceptible to increased mortality during high flows. Aquatic insect populations that develop in undisturbed stream substrates and provide food for native fish can be severely damaged by unregulated suction dredge mining. I think these uh, ponds basically uh, uh, mostly uh, silt and uh, small sand particles uh, can be very injurious uh, to uh, certain insects such as mayflies and stoneflies and caddisflies where the gills are exposed easily so that uh, what I'm saying is some of these forms are less tolerant Mercury used in past mining activities is also a concern because it can be mobilized by suction dredging when stable sediment is dredged and then cause ecological harm when it bioaccumulates in the food chain. The South Fork of the Clearwater runs through a beautiful canyon and holds many values more precious than gold. The ecological health of the river is of 
utmost spiritual and cultural importance to the Nez Perce tribe. My name is Elliot Moffat. I'm the president of Mimi Poo Protecting the Environment, which is a nonprofit indigenous environmental group. Mimi Poo is our is the name we call ourselves um, in identification. Um, translated, it 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 basically means um, a we the people kind of thing. So. Um, we call ourselves Mimipu protecting the environment. The Nez Perce tribe and fish are, are almost synonymous. Um, there have been historical um, evidence that 40 to 50 percent of our existence was salmon related. Uh, there seems to be a resurgence in, in mining and in particular suction dredging on some of our, our most uh, fragile ecosystems and rivers. Uh, what I've heard that uh, suction dredging is ramping up in the South Fork of the Clearwater and, and also it's still going on in the North Fork. The South Fork's important because it produces salmon and steelhead and um, also bull trout and cutthroat. But the salmon and steelhead in the Clearwater Basin are, are in trouble. Let's be, let's be honest about it. The river and its tributaries support important steelhead and salmon fisheries and contribute significantly to salmon, steelhead, and bull trout critical habitat. We've expended the tribe, the federal government, the state governments have all expended a lot of money and resources in trying to recover some of those areas from those historical mining efforts. And now we're going to have to do that again from, from these new, new suction dredging projects. During 2015, I became aware of several miners who operated without authorization, and I stepped up my effort. These unregulated miners caused significant impacts that damaged important fish habitat on the South Lake. They were also disrespectful and confrontational towards federal employees who attempted to lawfully regulate them. Where you can appeal this, and uh, we will reply to your appeal. But, uh, I'm going to sue you. That's just all there is to it. Yeah. All of us. So, yeah. if you guys wouldn't mind filling these out, putting your name up there. I'm not going to no. fill anything out, and I want you to call the Sheriff's Department to be here to represent us property owners in this canyon yeah, right now. Right now. During 2016 and 2017, comprehensive regulations issued by Idaho Department of Water Resources and the Forest Service created opportunities for legal suction dredge operations in the South Fork and miners complied. However, the Idaho Department of Water Resources relaxed permit conditions for the 2018 season and issued permits that prompted miners to violate federal regulations, whereby several miners chose to operate illegally. The result was essentially a suction dredge free-for-all with miners again showing little concern for their impacts. Dredgers operated without federal authorization and violated numerous conditions stipulated by federal law. Did you get the federal permits? I got a state permit. That's all I'm using. Listen. I'm listening. I've had it with all you guys. I have. I've had it up to fucking here, and you know that from last year. Oh, yeah. I got my permits, and it's none of your fucking business what I got. You understand that? Good. Now leave me alone and let me dredge. By the close of the 2018 suction dredge season, miners left portions of the South Fork of the Clearwater River ecologically compromised. Because of the, uh, the damage that happens from suction dredging, we, we think that's um, not an acceptable project in um, for for the fisheries habitat because of the degradation that results of that, from that. I would put a ban on suction dredging in streams and rivers that have essential and critical habitat for salmon and steelhead until they recover, fully recover, and you could allow some of this to go on. But until then, hands off, which is prohibition. Oh, I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned because uh, uh, especially if the number of dredge miners increase, 
maybe it's okay now, but if if it catches on and uh, we don't have any implementation of the law and uh, we don't punish the people that are doing it, I'm very concerned. If miners are going to ignore regulations or only follow regulations they agree with, I'm inclined to support a complete ban on suction dredge mining for any Idaho stream that supports threatened and endangered species. Idaho has a lot invested in the South Fork of the Clearwater River, far too much to give it away for a few ounces of dirty gold. Recent days, almost like a window pane, holding the light of the passing brightness. Do you feel betrayed? Try